years, one of the things that scouting has offered me is a chance to see the country. So to see the country through the eyes of young men, to take them places they've never been, the big woods in New Mexico or Colorado or New York City or even Alaska, been to all these places with scouting. Without scouting, I probably wouldn't have left the state. But it offers you the chance to earn your money, carry the boys where you need to go, and do what you need to do. As long as I thought about this thing of what I was going to say, one of the things that really gets me is the simple word sparkle. Have you ever seen a young kid's eyes just glitter that you know that's the guy I want to be here, I want to do what I can, and falls asleep in a chair because he's having so much entertainment that you can't contain that. To me, that's the real thing of scouting. You know you got the right guy in the right place. Now, we have some hard times, but that makes the easier times even more fun. So, in general, I think scouting is an organization that's really needed in the world for somebody to lead the younger group of the world. We're losing out on that. We're losing out the, the personal one-on-one -on -one with a child who really needs you right there. Simple enough to build a fire so you strike a match so you think, but build it without a match. Or teach a young man how to put up a tent, but put him in the woods, show him the animals, show him how to walk and talk and track the animals and what kind of trees are in this world. Those are the things that I think scouting offers that the school can't offer. They can take you out of point, pine tree, holly bush, little beach. So what? But to get out there and find out why it grows, how old it is, why it grows where it grows, and why this tree won't grow in that land. It's, those are the things scouting offers throughout. You know, it's not just one little facet. It's a giant world for us.